Hey y'all, it's Chimdi. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about creative fear. We're gonna explore it a little bit. Before we get into it though, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, and join my Patreon, of course, patreon.com slash Chimdi. But we're not doing a lot of preamble. We're just, we're just going chat, you know? I wanna share something that I read in a book recommended to me by the lovely Victoria. Check out her blog. She actually interviewed me for her blog, and so I'm gonna link it down below. She told me about this book written by Liz Gilbert. It's called Big something. <laughs> I'll insert it here. One really powerful thing that really stayed with me, a few very powerful things stayed with me, but one of the ones that really struck was this idea of all the different fears that we come up with when it comes to our creativity and the reasons why we shouldn't do something, you know, or why it's not a good time, it's not the right time. And so she has like a whole page, I think, maybe a page and a half where she just lists every single different fear for herself, I think that's come up. And all the different ones that, you know, are very common that have come up for a lot of people. And then she said something that really struck me and she said, there is one word, all of these different fears, this long list can all be summed up with one word, stop. So whatever thing it is that you wanna do, whatever creative adventure or endeavor that you're trying to embark on, all of the different fears that come up as reasons, you know, to scare you from moving forward, they all can just be summed up in stop, just don't do it, just stop, you know? And that really, really struck me. It reminds me a little bit of the book, The War of Art, all about resistance and how the key thing as a creative person is to just fight past the constant resistance that's always coming up. I know for me, I really, really enjoyed the November challenge in terms of <laughs> how much I was creating. I think I set it up for myself where definitely got burnt out, was still really caught up in the analytics of it all, was still concerned about making money from YouTube and trying to have that be like a major source of income. So I think a lot of things kept me from being able to just be purely invested in the creative aspect of it and in the, the part that I really enjoyed, which was having something, like having a piece of something that we could talk about every day, you know? Like, what did you think about this topic or this idea? or this learning or this book, whatever it was, and just being able to have a great dialogue with you all in the comments. That was my favorite thing. And when it ended, and I knew it would end early, <laughs> That was what I missed the most was I was like, oh, I miss just chatting with y'all, you know? And it felt as if, you know, I was missing out by not being able to share just my day and the latest things I learned and read and all that good stuff with you all. And then I read this another amazing book called The Go, called <laughs> The Go-Giver, and it was actually recommended to me by one of my Patreon producers, thank you. The book is all around, you know, we think the best way to make money is to only give as much value as we can just marginally get by with the amount of money that we're charging. But one of the key things it talk, talks about is actually the folks who are really successful are the ones who give the most value they can regardless of the cost. That really, really struck me. And there, were, there are a lot of other really good messages in the book. And the book is really short. I got it off Kindle from the library. Listen, y'all, get them library cards. All these books I'm talking about, y'all, I'm not buying most of them. <laughs> For the most part, I'm borrowing them from the library. But that idea of providing value, and if you think about how much money you want to get, the question really is to ask is how much value can I give? And as someone who creates videos, obviously there's the amount of time it takes to edit, but in terms of how often I can sit down in front of the camera and talk to you all and reflect with you all and hopefully share insights and wisdom and energy and all this good stuff, there's no cap on that. And so that got me super excited because I was like, ooh, that means that like, I can just keep giving value. And I had a beautiful conversation with somebody from the Adobe Creator Camp and they were just affirming what I hear often and is, you know, I still love to hear it, y'all. And they were just saying like, Chimdi, you're just a real light, you know? Like they just really, they were really grateful for the time that I spent talking to them and they were just like, just affirming me. It sort of just reaffirmed what I had wanted to do anyway, which was get back to creating more, like uploading more regularly, meaning like, three, four times a week, not just once a week. It made me think about the fears that I had let myself believe and stop me from doing that. So the main one was around not being able to do it, right? So I didn't want to announce something like I did with that challenge and then, you know, maybe I do it two, three times and then just like, yeah, you don't hear from me again. Because that's definitely something I've done before in the past and I've seen done often on other channels where folks will make a big announcement about how things are gonna look in the future of their channel and then you see that was the last video they uploaded in the last three years, right? And so I was like, oh, I don't want that to be me. I'd rather not make any promises and folks are happy about what I've delivered than uh, to promise I'm gonna start making more videos every week, but actually y'all are just not gonna, <laughs> y'all are just not gonna see it. That was one of the excuses I used to not sort of embark on it. The next one I had was of course like, well, will anyone actually care, you know? And this one isn't as strong because, you know, I've put out videos that have gotten two, 300 views, you know, 
despite having 13, 14,000 subscribers. So I know how that feels. <laughs> you know, I've, I've experienced that in my body. It's hurts my feelings but i'm okay like i could i can handle that but that was also like another one of those fears and of course just do i have enough valuable insightful great things to say but that's another one of those fears where it wasn't actually that strong because one of my favorite youtubers his name is victor odo i think that's how you say his name shout out to unique for introducing me to him what i love about his his content is that yes it's valuable and what he's saying is valuable and I get very inspired and you know he does a lot of like astrology type stuff and so he's always talking about like what a moon means you know <laughs> and I hold astrology lightly I think it's fun but I don't put it I put it I, you know it's all energy we're all just energy moving around the sun be shooting energy at us like it's all good it's all a vibe but I kind of hold it lightly but what I really like it's not so much any particular thing he says though as I said he is very inspirational it really is just his energy and his vibe and I really just like like just the way he communicates and says stuff and does stuff I'm just like you're great <laughs> you know like it's just fun and so I look forward to just like spending 20 minutes hanging out with him as he talks to me about the moon and I'm just like this is great this is great, you know? And I know that I, I do believe that people find what I have to say valuable and insightful and interesting and they learn something and they write something down and it helps them just expand their thinking, which is awesome. And I also know some people are like, girl, we're just hanging out. <laughs> like, we're just vibing with you. We appreciate your energy. We always feel a little bit lifted after watching you. And that's sort of what I'm trying to do is, is give more value to those folks who really are just like, yeah, we just like vibing with you. When you say something interesting or insightful, that's awesome for us but you don't have to try like you don't have to do or be anything other than yourself for us to like you and care for you and support you which really means a lot yeah I just wanted to reflect with you all just this idea of if you were to write down all the different things that you're scared of when it comes to whatever creative thing you're trying to do or want to do next and just understanding that ultimately they can just be summed down and STOP it's just like yeah don't do it <laughs> and that's all that's really happening and if you want to get over that and the choice is to uh, to ignore those fears. Also one thing I've learned from uh, my spiritual journey is, you know, when we get this inspiration from the Lord, we are creative beings, you know, and life is, is a creative emergent thing, right? The ability with which you are able to receive inspiration and ideas from God and actually turn them into real things in your life is a function of how healthy you are. For me, the fact that I am now able to make this video and continue making more videos at a more frequent pace speaks to the healing that I've done. And I know that as I can continue to create regularly it will similarly contribute to my own healing because I'm allowing like I'm shortening that time in between the inspiration and the output the like energy and then the structure that comes so that also has me really excited and I also know that things like ideas come up that otherwise wouldn't be realized if it weren't for this structure of creating regular videos. So for instance, and I'm gonna actually record a video, a follow-up video after this, but one of the reasons why I did that daily challenge is because I knew I would at least get one or two hits, you know, at least one or two like viral videos as a result of doing it. And I was very surprised that the one that ended up being viral was the one about how I wasn't smoking weed anymore. If you watch that video, it's exactly what I said I always wanted to do, which is just hop on here, talk. <laughs> and dip you know there's very little editing in the video I literally don't even like put my name up in terms of like the title card <laughs> like it's literally just hanging out sharing my story and then getting out of there and then it's the video that's the most successful which to me speaks to yeah girl like what you want to do this is also an idea in happy pocket full of money but the thing that you want to do the thing that's on your spirit it's on your spirit because there are people who are like man I really wish there was x and if enough people are saying man I really wish there was this thing this product this idea whatever it is the person who has the capabilities to do that thing is then going to be inspired to do that thing and so I think the fact that there's a part of me that's just like yeah I just want to get on here and chat and just be this like internet friend so was like you're my internet daughter I'm like thank you internet mama like just be this person for people and they just know that yeah just like let me just hang out with Chimby my friend on the internet for a second and have it just be like a really sweet nice good time I'm like yeah that's the reason why I want to do that and I think it's because there is in fact people who who want that that has me really excited too so that's what's going on in my life in terms of like fear and creativity and I wanted to share that with you all and inspire you all that if you are letting fear stop you, I already made another video about that, so check it out if you haven't already. But if you're letting fear stop you, understand that one, that's you literally blocking the Holy Spirit, so stop. <laughs> stop blocking those blessings. And the reason why you want to create something and it's on your heart is because there are people all around the world who are like, 
have been hoping and praying and fervently wishing for whatever it is that you want to give us. So give us your gifts. You know, we love it. It's a blessing and it's fun and it's a good time. So do it, you know? That's the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to see more. Join me on the Patreon. Let me know in the comments. What is, is there like a go-to fear that you have that always stops you from creating? I know for YouTube, I think a lot of people are scared about negative comments. So I've actually been thinking about, I'm thinking about an exchange I had where someone came in, it came in hot, you know? <laughs> And I gave them some love in response, and then they, their, their response was just like, oh, just like a deep gratitude, and it completely changed the tone. So I might try to dig that out from the archives and use it as an example, because like truly every single excuse you have, it's not, it's not legitimate. And with the sounds of the air planes or helicopters bidding us adieu, I guess we'll get out of here. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.